Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Bulk RTA. This is by Omir and Vapen Vegan. And um, yeah, it's a 28 millimeter in diameter RTA. It does hold 6.5 milliliters of e-liquid with the bubble glass, 3.5 with the straight glass. It has this nice knurling on the top. It does come with a really wide bore drip tip. So if you don't like big things in your mouth, <laughs> You might want to try the other drip tip, but anyway, so past that, um, it does have tri type of airflow, the, the three airflow holes, which I absolutely love. I think that that enhances the flavor in any device. So I, I did want to mention that. And then of course, it's just, it's really bulky. It's just so bulky. So let's go ahead and go down. I'm going to show you this thing up close. Okay. So here we are with the bulk RTA. This is by Um. Omir and Vape and Vegan. This is the sample box. I don't know if the retail version is going to look exactly like this, but this is actually the reviewer edition designed by Vape and Fagan. And then there's your scratch off authenticity. On the back, it's going to tell you what's included, which is the RTA, a spare kit, shoelace cotton, tricor fused Clapton's, an extra glass, and an extra drip tip. So that's it. But let's go ahead and get to the start of the show. So this is the RTA. Um, inside, you're going to get a spare drip tip. This is an 810 drip tip, but it's a little bit smaller than the one that's installed on the RTA. You're going to get an extra glass. With this glass, it holds 3.5 mils of e-liquid. I know it looks big, but being that the inner chamber is big, it actually will not hold that much. It holds a lot less, so 3.5 milliliters there. Then you're gonna get your RTA right here. This is the bulk RTA and then you've got your deck. I do love the boxing. I think that having this all separated like this is really nice. And um, yeah, some more extras that come with it. You're actually gonna get a bag of goodies. This is gonna come with two of the Tricor Fused Clapton, some O-rings, and two sets of grub screws. So you're gonna get a total of three sets of grub screws total, including the ones that are installed on the deck, which I think is really, really awesome. You're also gonna get your Allen key right there. In addition to that, they're gonna give you some shoelace cotton too. They give you two pieces, so we'll go ahead and use that. Now we're gonna take a look at the top first. This is actually the RTA. It's got bulk here, nothing on this side. With this bubble glass, it does hold 6.5 mils of e-liquid. Top, you're gonna to get this really, really nice size wide board drip tip. I don't know if you guys like it. I love big drip tips, so it doesn't really bother me, but it does look a little bit too big for the top of it when you're looking at it like this. That is why they included the other one. So you get this one and then you get the other one. It does have the O-ring on the inside. And that's that, it fits really nice. You've got this really, really nice knurling. I honestly, when I first got this and I looked at it for the very first time, I was like, that is just not enough knurling. But it's actually perfect. It literally sticks out just perfect. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch. It's perfect just the way it is. It threads off really, really nice. I think the machining on this is really beautiful. And then you've got your two fill holes on the sides right there. Super, super nice threading. You hear it? It's so smooth. I really like that. Um, I do know that um, Mark did tell me that the O-rings that are going to be on the retail version are actually going to be black O-rings and installed and then red is going to be in the box. But um, so I want to let you know about that. If you don't like the red, black and stainless and stuff like that, it will change. Also, they're going to be solid colors. You're going to have a solid black and a solid stainless steel and also a gold, but you're not gonna have them all mixed up. They're gonna be solid colors. So this is the inside of the chamber. Really, really nice conical, deep, deep, deep domed design. I love that. The threading looks absolutely beautiful. Um, there is a problem with the first one skipping, but they're gonna be fixing that in the retail version. But to change out your glass, all you need to do is just remove the glass like this. And this is all one piece, so it does not come apart. And then you just put this back on, or you can change it to the straight glass if you want less juice capacity. On to the star of the show. I absolutely am a huge fan of the BTFC. I have basically promoted that thing to my heart's desire because I absolutely love that RDA. The BTFC RDA for me thrives as a squonking RDA. I'm not a bottom airflow kind of girl. I don't like it, especially for squonking and stuff, but that RDA 
is my Squonk RDA. It really is. I absolutely love the deck and I'm I'm really excited that they brought that to an RTA because it's just it's just an awesome RDA. So it's a very, very similar to the RDA. Um, and then you've got these really, really nice airflow holes right there. The airflow holes are four millimeters in diameter each. That is massive. On the bottom, you do have three airflow slits, not two, but three. And if you know me, I think three is absolutely phenomenal because I think that it evens out the airflow. You don't have it only going to two sides. It actually feels like, it's almost like surround sound airflow in my opinion. So you do have the um, the adjustable airflow. You've actually got the three holes. Okay, and then the bottom, it is a 28 millimeter RTA. It does say bulk by Umir and Vapenfagen. It does have a protruding 510 sticking out, but not super, super protruding. So you wanna be careful if you're gonna use this on any type of hybrid mech mod. Now on the retail are the reviewer edition. Um, this O-ring right here is very, very loose. So I'm just being careful of it to keep it in there. Um, on the retail version, that is gonna be fixed. The one I actually got, the O-ring would not go back on. It was really, really misshapen, so I couldn't put it on. So this is actually one from the bag. Now you do have some Allen key screws right here. Again, there are two extra sets in the bag. Just an amazing thing to do because half the time I'm losing <laughs> screws. I don't know why, but it happens. Then of course you've got your wicking channels. These are open wicking channels. This is actually to help you with where to put the cotton and how, you know, how close it can be to the deck. So it's actually sort of like a helping tool. Now for some that's going to be a problem because of the fact that there is nothing to hold your cotton in. Um, it's actually going to be free form, but I'm going to show you how to do that. That's no problem at all. The machining again is absolutely immaculate on this. I think the threadings are beautiful. I think everything about this is great except for the loose O-ring, but they're fixing that problem. And then to undo your, um, your Allen screws, they are super buttery smooth. I have to show you this. Look, super, super buttery smooth. Like you can't get any smoother than that. I, I honestly sometimes don't even think that I'm actually touching it because it's that smooth. You have absolutely no grinding. They come out really, really nice. So I do appreciate that. And then of course you've got back here, you've got your coil leg holes. So you can literally just drop your coils in here and then clip them here, or you can pre-cut them and then put them in. So I'm actually going to go ahead and snip them to this. I'm going to let them fall out and then I'm going to snip them and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, again, you can pre-cut, but pre-cut, you really don't need any lesson on that. You're just going to cut your legs and then slide them in. For my, I know that it comes with tri Tricor Fuse Claptons. I'm actually a fan of my Fuse Claptons by Coil Cloud, so I'm actually going to be using these. And these you can find at CoilCloud.com. If you use Wendy, you get 10% off. And there we go. All right, look at that. I think this absolutely looks beautiful. The, the machining on this is absolutely crazy beautiful. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and drop in our coils. So I'm just gonna put the legs right in here like this. One leg there, one leg there. I'm gonna drop it down to about where I want it, which is right about, right about there. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one down. There's one. And I'll put the other one. There's two. Really, really nice and easy. Like literally, that took me like no time to place that. Then I'll go ahead and put in the other one. Again, just drop it down. One leg here, one leg here. Drop that in, make it to where I want it. Right about there. And then tighten this side down. It just makes it easier if you do one at a time if you're gonna be clipping the leads on the outside. Tighten that down and then tighten this one down. And there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and get my handy dandy clippers. And when you're clipping, you do wanna be careful. I do lift these legs up like this just to make it easier. I'm just gonna lift those up and then you wanna cut them flush to the deck, flush. That's why they put a little lip there so that you can get it really, really flush. And then do the other side. There we go, super, super flush. You don't have any problem. And then we'll do the other side. You definitely want to make it flush though because of the fact that you do have that inner chamber, you do not want to touch it because it will short it out. And then do the other one. There we go. So now that those are installed, we can go ahead and bend them in. So I'm just going to bend this one in like this and this one in the middle like this. I want them close, but I don't want them touching. 
So they're separated like that. My OCD has got me over here. Hold on. There we go. And then bring this one in a little bit more. This one a little bit more down. Looking very, very pretty. They're not touching, but they are super, super close. So I've got them right over that airflow. You can see the airflow right there. It's gonna come up underneath it. And that's what we want. So let's go ahead and start dry firing. Now, for those of you out there that are going to be watching this, that are kind of new to um, building and things like that, one thing I want to tell you is, number one, you always want to start at a low wattage when you're heating up your coils and getting them to, to glow. Don't go really, really crazy because you can damage the coils, especially something that has a Clapton wire on it. You can literally fry it and you want to get them to, to heat up evenly. So I would never, ever, ever dry fire at a high wattage. So that's just one part one. Number two, always use ceramic tweezers. Ceramic tweezers, if you're already pressing the button while you're heating it up and you forget, it's okay because you're not going to short. If you're trying to strum with any type of metal, um, I don't recommend it because number one, you're damaging the Clapton wire because the Clapton wire is also a type of metal. So you are damaging that by scraping it with metal. And number two, um, if you're firing it and you're touching it, you can actually create a short. So I want to, I want to tell you about that and just, I, I always warn my viewers about that because a lot of them are actually here for the build tutorial part. So I wanted to warn you about that. Always get some ceramic tweezers. You can get these for like a buck for a dollar. You can also get these kind. That's, I mean, it just, it helps so much. And I'm always trying to promote safety. So you wanna be careful on that. And then what you wanna do is just start pulsing and pulsing your mod. Or if you've got um, one of those ohm readers, you can use that as well. But just start lightly pulsing, pushing down my O-ring again. Go, and then it'll start coloring. You see how they're discoloring? That means that they're starting to glow. They're starting to work up, and I'm only at 29 watts. I don't have to go really, really hot, because if I do, I can damage the coils. And my coils last months, so I'm not worried about that. And anything that looks like lightning like that is actually called a hot spot. so you wanna be careful to get those out. So what you can also do is just pinch your coil. When you're pinching your coil while you're firing with the ceramic um, tweezers, it usually brings out the hot spots. Like see that lightning bolt right there? And it'll help it heat more evenly. So that's always a big, big help. There we go, almost there. Glowing really, really nice. Another hot spot right there. Okay. And they look absolutely beautiful. So now we can start the wicking process. So let me go ahead and get the cotton. Got the two pieces of cotton that were actually provided in the bag. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. Make sure that your coils are definitely cooled down so that you're not gonna melt the little plastic on here. And then you can just slide this through. These actually were created to make it easier to get your cotton to go through it. So I think that that's great. And then just pull it through like this. I wanna leave enough to hang there and enough to hang here. That should be fine. So let's go ahead and cut that one. And I'm gonna cut it right at the shoestring. So we'll go ahead and put this one in. And pull that one through. And I love the feel of this cotton. This cotton, I don't know which one that they provided you, but it fits perfectly in a three millimeter coil. My coils are three millimeters, and I love that they fit perfectly. Um, another brand that has these shoelaces that come really, really thin in the coils. They don't feel really, really snug, and I like my, my cotton snug in the coils because if not, then you can get some spit back. So I really, really like that. So I'm gonna get my handy dandy tweezers. These are just so that I can fluff out the cotton. And I just wanna fluff it, make sure that both sides, especially the side with the shoestring, um, is nice and fluffed out. Just holding the other side while I do this. There we go. And then I'm gonna trim it right to the bottom of the deck, right there. Now they did create it with this little gap here so that you can literally cut right under it, especially being that you're gonna be putting this flush in those little channels it's actually gonna be perfect because you can get right under it with not a problem. There we go. And now I am gonna tell you that with this type of um, wicking channel that they have, the best, the best, the best way is actually gonna be to wet your cotton because that way it's actually gonna saturate it to where it's gonna sit where you put it so that you can put the top post on. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime up my 
foils and wet my wicks. And I am going to be using my icing on the flakes. I'm so happy I got this again. Thank you again, North Shore Vapor, for sending it my way. I absolutely love this flavor. This is basically like cornflakes. This is just, and the flakes are absolutely amazing. Yum. I'm just going to wet my coils right there. And then I'm going to pulse it this way. It'll actually wet the cotton that is within the coils. That way there is no ramp up time for the cotton and it's nice and saturated by the time that we want to start vaping it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. A little bit more. And this is also going to bring the, the e-liquid outside the coil as well. Oh my God, the smell. I love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. And I'm gonna wet some of this here because we wanna use it sort of like a glue um, to help it stay in place. So I'm gonna do, and this is when you can tell if you have too much cotton, if you need to thin it out or not. So I'm gonna just place that in the channel, place that in the channel. I basically got it just about right. All I need to do is just trim it. So it is laying in there. I wanna just cut just a little bit more here. So I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm just gonna basically just cut down here and then try it again. Absolutely perfect. See, it fits right in that channel, just absolutely perfect. Now I wanna cut the bottom because we do not want it to have any type of hang down, um, just like that. And it's absolutely perfect. That way it's gonna actually soak up the e-liquid. So I've got that side down. Let's go ahead and focus on the other one. Use our e-liquid light glue. And again, it is a little bit thick, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Get my scissors, cut some of this off right there. Go ahead and put it down. Yep, now it fits perfect in there. Now I won't lie to you, these aren't my favorite wicking channels ever. Um, I usually like to have some sort of a bar there. Um, that's just my preferred method, but you know, it is what it is. Um, if that's the way that they made it, that's the way that they made it, but they did make it easy for you to clip the cotton from underneath. So I really like that and I appreciate that. So I'm just gonna stuff that back in there like this. And you do wanna make sure that not it, that it's not really sticking out because if it is, it will get caught on those threads when you're trying to actually screw the top back on. So that's why I'm making sure that that's nice and in there. So let's go ahead and get the top. Now the threading, um, like I said, they're supposed to be fixing it because the first catch of the threading um, is not catching right. So what you wanna do is if that happens to you, just turn it the opposite way till it grips and then you're gonna screw it down just like you would any type of coil in a sub ohm tank. So I'm gonna put that over there. I'm gonna take it to the back, uh, like unscrew it till it catches and then just screw it right down. See how easy that was? And it's all put together. Yay, let's go ahead and fill this baby. Again, I absolutely love the snarling on top. Um, it feels almost like a hat. It's so funny, but I love this snarling. This is probably like the best snarling I've seen on an RTA ever. The easiest to unscrew. I really like that. Let's go ahead and fill that up. Again, it does hold 6.5 mils of e-liquid with this bubble glass. And then the threading, oh my God, buttery smooth, baby. So that's it, that's the bulk RTA. Let's go ahead and go on top and uh, talk about it. So before anything, let's go ahead and have a vape and then we'll talk more about it. I absolutely love big RTAs and especially big RTAs with flavor. Um, I love the Tri Airflow. I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat. I think that it's evening out the flavor and the airflow on this. It just, it, this, is, this is a tasty vape. If you want something that's a little bit bigger and it holds over six mils of e-liquid and it has great flavor, this is the one. Absolutely, absolutely love the airflow. Really nice airflow. It's got that BTFC flavor, which I automatically love. Um, the BTFC is definitely a flavor RDA, and this actually follows suit. Even being an RTA, I wanna say that it's given me just as great flavor, if not just a tiny bit less than the BTFC RDA. You're getting clouds and flavor with this, which are my two biggest points on an RTA, especially a bigger one. 
I absolutely love this drip tip. I'm actually gonna change it out and put the other drip tip that it comes with because I wanna show you the differences on them. Now with the other one, I like the wide bore. Personally, it's not too big for me, but hey, <laughs> if you guys don't like it. <laughs> But this is with the other drip tip. Now, in the retail version, apparently it's going to have this and then the smaller Big Daddy, Tall Daddy, or whatever um, Vape and Fagan calls it. Um, it's going to have that. So it will be a little bit smaller. I personally like the wide bore, but I'm going to go ahead and have a vape with this one for you. I like it, but I really like the wide bore a little bit better. It's still giving me the same great flavor. And it gives just as enough, uh, the same amount of airflow because honestly, the whole inside is about the same. So it's just the shape on the outer side of this that's actually the difference in it. But it's still giving you the same airflow. Another pro for me is that it's 28 millimeters. 28 millimeter in diameter. I love Big Addies and this is no joke. Airflow, size of it, the flavor on it, I'm, I'm like in heaven. I, I have to say that they hit it out of the park with flavor on this. For an RTA, it's it's super close to being an RDA, I promise you. The knurling on the top is probably my favorite part of this whole thing because this is like the thinnest knurling on there. But I'm telling you, it's so easy to grip and open that it freaked me out. I was like, are you kidding me? Something this thin? Usually you have to be a little bit thicker and a little bit more deeper. Um, I do know that they went through because I did watch his... Um, his introduction video just to see where he was coming with and why he did what he did with it. And I do know that they actually changed this knurling a couple times. They knocked it out of the park with this last time. I absolutely love it. The deck, super easy, drop in. Make sure that when you're dropping in your coils and you're cutting your leads, I would do it one at a time for dropping in and then tightening it down and then do the other one like I did it down below. It just makes it a little bit easier. And it doesn't take up too much room because you're doing it one at a time. When you cut the leads, you want to make sure that you're going to cut them flush. If you're not pre-cutting your leads, make sure that they are super flush because you do have this outer chamber here that you don't want touching it. So that is really, really key. Otherwise, when you're doing the wicking, the wicking is the next thing. I'm not a fan of the wicking. I'll be totally honest with you. The wicking channels, I don't like, but they work. It's not my favorite but they work just great. If you do it the way that I did it, you're gonna have no problem. I got bubbles, I got everything going. It's just, it's perfect. You just wanna make sure that it's lined up with the threading. So as long as they're lined up with the threading, it's not gonna catch when you do close it down. If you find that it's that it's catching, just trim it just a little bit more just to make sure that it's laying in there really, really nice. Um, I love the fact that they made it sort of like a floating deck in the sense that they left that opening down in the bottom for you to cut your wicks so that they're not too long. I think that that is another plus on this RTA. I feel like being Mark, you wouldn't expect something so perfect to come out. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but he's all funny and joking and all that stuff. And he's just a fun person. But he literally got down and he did the nitty gritty on this. I have to say, I'm really, really impressed, Mark. I think you did an amazing job on all your thought process through this and fixing the things that you did and redoing the things that you did. I think that it came out amazing. Again, it is, uh, I, I even like the name. I think bulk suits it perfectly. I think that everything about this is great. Now, again, there are going to be some changes. Um, the oh, the O-ring on the bottom that I told you is a little bit loose. That is going to be changed. It's going to be coming in solid colors only instead of this black, silver, or black, red, and, and stainless. It's actually going to be all black, all gold, or all stainless steel. Um, also, the threadings on the deck are actually going to be threaded a little bit better. Um, so that way, when you're screwing it down, it doesn't skip that first one. For me, it doesn't, if you notice, it took me two seconds to screw it in. I'm, I'm used to anything with threading to always turn it the opposite way first to, until it catches and then screw it down. So to me, it wasn't really a big deal. He did say that the retail price should be about 30 to $32. I'm guessing about $34 in my opinion. I think that, that you're going to see it probably 30 to $34. But the flavor, oh my God, I'm so impressed. I am like super impressed. I, I can't even tell you. You don't need super exotic coils to bring out flavor in this. And I love that. 
A lot of times you, you know, you get better flavor with alien coils than you do fused Clapton's and vice versa. I actually tried three different types of coils in this. I actually tried my alien coils, my frame staples, and then um, the fused Clapton's. And all three of them gave the same great flavor. I absolutely prefer my fused Clapton's. I don't need necessarily need all that heat that the aliens and the frame staple gives. You can literally bump this up. I've got it at 80. I'm actually gonna take it up to 100. I'm gonna take it up to 100 watts here. And these are reading at a 0 0.20. So let's go ahead and take a vape. It doesn't even get super hot. At 100 watts, it's not giving me that heat. Now, depending on the coils that you put in, if you were to put in like frame, staple, frame staples or really, um, designer coils and really you know fancy coils sometimes that can actually produce the heat because of the lower resistance with the resistance that i have in here it's literally not hot at 100 watts i'm a person that i like warm vapes i don't like them extremely hot and this is great i'm gonna bump it up to 120 because i can and because i've already tried this before so 120 watts there you go let's do it again Absolutely beautiful vape. Absolutely, the flavor just keeps jumping and jumping and jumping. I absolutely have no problems with this. You can use it at lower wattages. You can bump it up if you like higher wattages. It's gonna vape absolutely beautifully no matter where you go with it, which is another huge pro for me. Personally, I, I just, I love the looks of it. Even with the, the whole configuration that he did, it's not gonna match a thousand mods, but it just, it works. Everything works. I do like his design technique, having the black, the red, and the stainless. I think that it looks hot. The all stainless, all black, and all gold is also gonna look really, really good. So there's no problem with that. 6.5 milliliters of e-liquid I think is great. It's not guzzling juice like some RTAs do. It, that to me is definitely a pro that I want to mention. It takes juice, but it doesn't guzzle it. You're not going to have like, you know, you take a few hits and it's almost empty. So I do like that. Being that it's an easy top fill, it doesn't give me a problem to fill it. It absolutely works beautifully. And yeah, it's just, it's an... Huh. I can't get over the flavor. The flavor on this is really immense. So I know it's supposed to be coming out, if I'm not mistaken, I think the 17th, he said. So if you like something big, you like something flavorful, and you're a flavor chaser, or you're a cloud chaser, or you just like big addies, um, easy to build, easy to wick, just follow my guides the way that I did it, and you're going to be fine. Yeah, th this is definitely a keeper for me. I will definitely be putting this in my rotation because this is just, it's everything that I want in a shorty, you know? I mean, it's not super tall, but it's 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 the perfect size. It's it's literally it's got girth, and I love girth. <laughs> and it's nice and moist. And all my fans that are usually in my Monday night live streams will know what I mean. It's just it's it's got it. It's it's got everything that I want in an RTA. He nailed it. Being that it's got that that um, deck on it that I absolutely love anyways, I think that it's just perfect. I'm so glad that he converted this into an RTA. I think that it's just, it's amazing. So yeah, so that's the Bulk RTA by Umir and Vape and Fagan. And yeah, I'm gonna see you on the next one.